Okay, let's start by taking a look at the Solaris oscillator section first. Across the top you'll see oscillator 1, 2, 3, and 4. And each of those oscillators can be set to a different type. The first type we're looking at is called the Multimode 1, or MM1. And this has the following wave shapes. Sine wave, triangle wave, ramp, which is a forward-going sawtooth, and saw, which is the downward-sloping one. They sound the same. Pulse, now if you don't have any pulse width, if you're at zero, then you won't hear it. So you got to move the pulse width shape away from zero. And when you get to 50%, that's the square wave. And on the other end, when you get to 100%, it does disappear again. So that's just like a standard analog uh, pulse width. Noise is white noise, and S slash H is a tunable noise. So this uh, noise will track the uh, pitch control of this oscillator. Next type of wave uh, is a morphing saw. And a morphing saw starts as a sine wave, and then it moves gradually towards becoming a saw at 100% of the shape. Following that, we have a morphing square. Again, it moves from 100% square wave to 0% sine. So morphing saw, morphing square. Jaws is a seven sawtooth stack, and the detuning of it is controlled by the shape. So as I as I increase the shape, you'll hear it gets really out of tune there. Okay. So that makes up the wave shapes for the multi-mode one. Now let's go to another type. Next one is called WT for wavetable. And when you select the wave, it actually is selecting a table of 64 wave shapes. And the shape will move within that table. So you can hear scanning through a number of wave shapes within that table of these two uh, wave tables. Next type, it's called the CEM, or Curtis Electro Music. This is what we use in the Prophet 5. The Prophet 5 has three switches, saw, triangle, and pulse. And again, the pulse needs a pulse width shape, so you can hear it. Otherwise, you won't hear it at zero or 100%. Uh, the Prophet 5 offers simultaneous wave shapes. So the way we do it here is saw plus triangle, saw plus pulse. And again, you can see you can hear a little bit of change with the shape. Saw plus pulse, uh, triangle plus pulse, or all three of them, saw, triangle, and pulse together. Next type is wave or sample playback oscillator, and this comes with empty locations, although we have some uh, test samples in there for now. Uh, when you get it as a user, you will be loading your own samples over the USB port. The next type is the Prophet VS, and in the Prophet VS we have they're also called wavetables by some people, but they're just actually single cycle waves. And there's 126 of these from the Prophet VS, from the original files. Changing a shape here would do nothing because uh, the only control is just the, the discrete wave shape. I actually remember I made all of most almost all of these wave shapes using a program we had uh, where I could draw the levels, the amplitudes of 64 harmonics, or just take a mouse and move it around the screen and come up with a wave shape that sounded interesting to me. Uh, the last type we have is the Minimoog, and the Minimoog has a six-position switch for wave shapes. And that's what we've got here, triangle, saw plus triangles, saw, and three different pulse settings. Now here, because the Minimoog had fixed pulse uh, amounts, the shape actually doesn't change anything. So that's it. That gives you an idea of the basic oscillator types coming in version 1.0 of the Solaris.